All right, my ah. apparently a uh, new narrative being painted that that well, and yeah, it's fairly new that Terrence Crawford ain't coming to Dallas to fight Earl Spence, and you know, you hear uh, Leonard L. B. Tomorrow Spence is a bigger attraction. He'd be full of shit, and he'd be full of shit about Tank and uh, Tank. Tank ain't they ain't flip no profit on Tank. So whatever he's saying, he ain't flip. They ain't made no profit on Tank since he's been on pay per view. So tank pay per views don't they do nowhere near they reported he can fake the funk you can say it as much as he want to say it if that was the case and tank was doing all the type of numbers that he was doing then their LB and Floyd Mayweather would be attracting a lot more fighters to their to their stable and they not money trumps everything in these fighters mind and it should but nonetheless they're gonna continue to go out there and and, and paint a narrative like they really getting it over there and they not all right. But at the same time, when they say, well, Spence is a much bigger attraction, my thing, if that's the case, Crawford just got to take what he's giving him. It's no negotiations. None. Was there any negotiations when Victor Ortiz or Robert Guerrero or Marcos Madonna fought Floyd Mayweather? Were they really negotiating over, over the split? No. Canelo, you know, Canelo, do they really negotiate over the split? Might be a minor couple million, but you know they don't have much leverage. Either can you with Canelo, you're gonna take it or leave it. You know that's just what it is. And Errol Spence, he ain't to the point where, yeah, you know we gonna fight in Dallas. You we you just gonna show up to the fight. You know you walk first, your name on the poster second. No matter how much they said today, blue in their face, then open up the book and hire a a, a mediator. And they can just h- handle the split that way. And that split going to be a lot closer than what Al Heyman trying to pay. Al Heyman is trying to push Errol Spence to fight Keith Thurman still to this day. And people can talk about, well, they in negotiations. They just started preliminary. Man, these niggas been in negotiations since Terrence Crawford fought Sean Porter. And if they wanted Terrence Crawford, if they wanted Terrence Crawford to uh, – to be on PBC, you know what they would have said? They would have been a part of the Sean Porter fight. Excuse me. They would have been a part of the Sean Porter fight. And, you know, they would have they would have put some money into it, put some promotion into it. And it kind of probably, they probably would say, well, Bob, you know what, man? You can be a part of the promotion. We going to handle it. We going to pay for it, right? We going to do all of that type of stuff. And, um, and we really want to introduce Terrence Crawford to our Fox Showtime PBC family. That's what they wanted to do. That's what they would have done. They're like, you know, you want to introduce them over there, and we'll do it that way. And they didn't. They didn't want to, They didn't want to, no financial rep, uh, repercussions from fighting Sean Porter in the Bud fight. That should let you know right there. They not. They wasn't interested in, in making the the Errol Spence fight when they didn't want to. When they didn't want to be. When they didn't want to spend no money and put and bring Crawford over to PBC. Then, you know, they didn't think Crawford was going. You know, leave top rank without you know being stuck with lawyers and stuff of that nature they didn't think that you know so like i said if he was such an a-side bro it's take it or leave it, and you're moving on to the next option it's simple as that canelo you know niggas gonna say well i want 50 million to fight canelo too canelo gonna look at you crazy and if eddie or whoever he messes with oscar al can't come up with the 50 million then it's a wrap then it's a wrap so Ain't no sitting here negotiating and take it or leave it. Earl Spence, if he was that type of star, that 20% that he trying to offer him, that Al trying to offer him, that's 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 like $10 million, bro. That's like fighting floor. It's like 10 or $12 million for them. Eight, nine, ten, you take it or leave it. If not, if Earl had other lucrative options, you move on to take those lucrative options, but he's not that type of dude. And to be honest, Tanners don't need him. Parents don't need him. You know? Now, you know, would it be nice for his legacy and get that big fight? Yeah, like I told y'all. People in the comments saying, well, you know, Crawford will get his will get his full credit. No, he won't. He won't get his full credit right away. Y'all discredit everything that y'all don't like somebody to do, y'all discredit it. If he ain't somebody that y'all like, y'all discredit everything that that they that they that they do. And, that, and that's the honest truth. So him going him going to Dallas for what? Why would I why would I take less money? Why would I take 80, 20, 60, 40, leave my promotional company? 
leave my promotional company and give everything to Earl Spence like he fucking Floyd Mayweather, like he Manny Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? Like he Anthony Joshua, Canelo Alvarez. He not. And no matter how much Leonard Ellaby, no matter how much Al Heyman, no matter how much Derek James, TGB Promotions, no matter how much they believe, they keep saying he a superstar. Well, open the book. Show Terrence Crawford the real pay-per-view numbers in his real purses. You know? Come on. Caleb Plant got 10 to fight Canelo Alvarez. Because Canelo a real star. He a real star. He a real, real star. So they putting his narrative. Oh, he's scared to go to Dallas, this, that, and the third. Why would I go to Dallas? For what? What the, what, what, what premier fight has Canelo had in Dallas? Has Cal, have Dallas ever had a top tier fight in the, in that stadium? When you think about the hot beds of, uh, of boxing, you don't think about Dallas. You don't. You think about all Canelo B side fights been there. Billy Joe, Liam Smith. Uh, I think he might have fought somebody. Maybe that's it. Pacquiao fought Joshua Cloudy B side. It wasn't Pacquiao Mayweather. They wasn't even running for that. You know, it wasn't Canelo uh, 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 Floyd Mayweather. You know, Canelo. You know, nothing like that. When you're talking about, you know, big fighting. And big fights is Vegas. And Atlanta would have been a nice twist, but they don't want to play with the church's money. Because Atlanta is Black Hollywood. So going to Dallas for what? People say, oh, he should go to Dallas. He should go to Dallas. For what? I'm going to take less money. Right? I'm going to leave my promotional company and go where he at. What do I get out the deal? Beating his ass ain't enough. They don't pay my, I don't feed my kids. Getting robbed in Dallas, like, and then at the end of the day, and I say, well, you know, I got robbed. I'm going to say, shut up, you crying. No matter if Earl Spence get dropped 20 times and they rob Earl Terrence Crawford, y'all still going to run with the narrative. So why would he go to Dallas? Come on, it's the Terra Dome. That motherfucker ain't no Terra Dome. Get out of here. The most snobbish, uppity, uppity ass Dallas Cowboy fans. Ain't nothing to. Ain't nothing scary about going to Dallas. Nothing, especially for a football game. It ain't like being in the Bay Area going to a 49ers or Raider game where you can lose your life. It's not it's nothing. They crowd is snobbish. They crowd, it ain't nothing lit. It's a casual fans. It ain't like the loudest. It ain't like going to Kansas City and playing. Nothing. Even they basketball games, it's a nice little vibe, but it ain't it ain't nothing eccentric. It ain't nothing to write home about. It ain't like going to the Superdome when they first game at the Hurricane Katrina. Nothing like that. So calling it the Terror Dome is disrespectful. The Superdome could be a tall the Terror Dome after uh, over Dallas. It's a nice stadium. It's uppity, upper echelon people. That's the vibe. When you're talking about the real trenches and the real crowds, you're talking about Cleveland, Detroit, you know, even Indiana, Milwaukee. Those were the real crowds at. You know, you're talking about Miami and Dallas and Houston. It's too much shit to do. But the one thing about taking it to Dallas, it'll be affordable. Everybody should get a ticket. That's the positive thing about it. It's affordable, and Dallas got the amenities to carry the carry the fight. You want food, you want a lot of hotels, you want a nearby, you know, nearby places to stay at, Fort Worth, Dallas, Arlington. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's it definitely be the in my mind, it'll be the biggest fight that. The cow the Dallas ever held held in that stadium. Well, I don't even know what it's called. I just call it Jerry World. It definitely be the biggest fight it held held in that stadium. But well, for Crawford to go there, then you know he would have to get the lion's share to split. If it's about one or two percent, he had to get the lion's share to split. He had to walk last. He had to be first first on the poster. Errol Spence would have to give up some concessions. We know that's not happening. But Al Heyman said he wanted to do it in Vegas. And when they met up, and they both said they know it had to be a neutral site. So, like I said before, if Spence can't sell outside of Dallas, that's not Terrence Crawford for him. You know, he went into L.A., cool, solid, great fight, solid numbers probably. 
Never fought in Vegas. Earl Spence should be pushing to fight in Vegas. Unless some unless we know some they know something we don't. He should be pushing to fight in Vegas. Shit it could be a last fight. Never know. You know, could be you know, it could be the birth of a superstar. You could be the new Floyd Mayweather in Vegas after this performance. Never know. May never fight there ever again in your career. So Vegas is probably a spot, but the bad thing about Vegas is they're going to shoot up the numbers. They're going to make this fight unaffordable for a lot of the fans that, that watch it. And then you pay all your money for a plane ticket, a hotel ticket, and then somebody gets sick or they reschedule the fight or somebody pull out, somebody get injured. Then, you you know, at least you're still in Vegas, but then they don't be want to return your ticket. They don't want to refund your ticket. That's why a lot of people don't get tickets till. That, that week of the fight, especially when you see a ticket spike Thursday and Friday. But this this situation, I already know what they're going to do. Allegedly, they're going to buy all the tickets up and resell them at a super-duper high price. In Vegas, it's going to be a 1000 to get in that hole. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. People, you can't get in, and you, you want to go for the atmosphere, you're just going to have to do some closed circuit. You just gonna have to find a venue to, with the TVs and stuff. See if they're playing the fight and how you're on. And that's and that's messed up because a lot of people push for this fight. Them tickets gonna be gone. They're gonna comp the celebrities. They're gonna comp their families. Gonna comp the homies. And you fight at MGM Grand. What MGM Grand Hall? Oh, Seventeen thousand. Them tickets gonna be gone, bro. And if they and then when they if they are so they are selling like that, then you know what that means. You know exactly what that means. I mean, they bought them, resold a lot. They bought them and they're gonna resell them. At du oh, double face value. You know, I don't know what the weather like in Vegas in November, but a lot of people want to push for the football stadium. A lot of people say, well, what about the view, the view and all that, bro? You got that big ass video board. But the thing about it is pushing for a football. So that's why you see a lot of people want to see it in Mercedes Benz Stadium in Atlanta or or where the Raiders stay at, the Death Star they play at. A lot of people want to see see it though those venues because you know you're gonna get in. They're not gonna buy a hundred thousand seats, seventy thousand seats, fifty thousand seats. You're gonna get a ticket. You will get a ticket in that situation. You know. But it is what it is. You don't have to take a guess. It's, it's, it's going to be at the MGM Grand or T-Mobile. T-Mobile hold twenty dollars, and what they going? I heard that's a terrible venue. But you know, but we'll see. But him going to Dallas, he need to be compensated for going to Dallas, all the way around. So it is what it is. Everybody talking about they they negotiate. They've been negotiating, bro. They've been they probably been negotiating before he even left top rank. If we being real. Because they had to negotiate on Sean Porter's good on faith. So they've been negotiating. They just didn't think Terrence Crawford was going to get away from top rank, Scott Clean. So they've been talking for months, bro. They broke off talks about a month or around not too far, not too, not too far ahead of uh, the, the Ugas fight. And they said they'll resume talks. So they resume talks. And they going out here saying 100% going to happen. They've they been very optimistic. So. Unless it's something that I don't know. And I know people are saying that they still saying they don't have the money for Terrence Crawford and, and this, that, and the third. To me, they ain't got nowhere as far. Maybe they start working on other things. But what I heard, they ain't got nowhere financially as far as uh, the numbers. I could be wrong. I know Al is saying 80-20, and I really want Earl Spence to fight Keith Thurman. And Earl sell out. It's the only fight that I want. So we'll see. Maybe Al Sweden the Keith Thurman pot. I don't know. But right now, and I know Crawford's team saying they still ain't got the money for him. So I don't know. But hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button. Hit the bell icon button. Hit up, hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live drop video. Finance, you want to support the channel? Cash App, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Bemo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Um, 
hit all notification questions and notification go live and drop a video um it's the bell icon button next subscribe button other than that financially you want to support the channel cash app dollar sign cj good 313 venmo cj good 313 paypal link in the description all my social media links there uh for twitch twitter instagram venmo cash app paypal uh instagram it's the first link in the description um find me everywhere appreciate the love support peace